Alright, been the red line, paid the bill there. At the bank now. Knuckleheads are barking at people out the windows. Alright. Chuck them off my list as I go. Alright, happy Tuesday. November 16th. Got my crew with me. Minus one. She's going to bed. So we are going to. Well, we have to go to the bank, we have to go to the post office, we have to go to Redline Equipment. Not necessarily in that order. I think we'll go to the Redline first, over in Bowling Green, then swing back up into town, go to the bank, hit a post office, drop off a couple of bills to mail, then we're going to Bascom to get feed for the pigs. So, that's my day. That's the beginning of my day. We'll see you. All right, done at the bank, right across the road to the post office, drop that stuff off. Now I'm here at Family Farm and Home. Gonna go in and see about a heated water trough for the pigs. Be back. All right, well, got a heated water bucket for the pigs. I got me a new battery charger, it's a Schumacher. Those have always been good battery chargers. That one I got is a piece of crap. And I got a Schumacher solar battery tender for the gooseneck trailer. Put on there and keep that battery maintained. Battery maintainer. So, I spent a little more than I was planning on in there, but we'll see what happens. So now, just went by Burger King, was thinking about getting a bite to eat. No, lines all the way around the building. So uh, we're just going to mosey on our way. And uh, see what we can find. Make our way to Basket. It's a big one. All right. Uh, 130, 140. Done in Bascom. Feeds in the back of the truck back there. Running back to Foss Story to get something to eat. Oh, hang on. Running back to Foss Story to get something to eat. Tammy's still up. Kids' his dog's out, so she's worried about that. She's on the hunt for that. She tells me the brakes went to heck on her Duramax while she was sitting talking to a guy about the dog. Brake pedal went to the floor. She says there's no fluid coming out of the bottom. So, she's still up, so I'm going to run into town here and get something to eat, take home. So, we'll see you at the house. <laughs> Alright, good afternoon. Made it back home. Eight. Got my shoemaker. 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 Solar charger out of the box you know to see all the instructions for this it's unbelievable what these companies have to spend on instructions to get them printed and all that stuff <coughs> just use a little common sense people that's all you gotta do so we're gonna take it out here and we're gonna hook her on to the gooseneck and leave her set there's Ruckus. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? So. Uh, I don't know if I got a... I don't think I do. I thought I had a trickle charger in there, but I don't. So anyway, let's see what kind of cord they give us. She's a long one. And of course it's tangled. Neighbors are running corn back there, Burmeisters. So they say don't let the ends touch. 
So we'll hook them on here first. Yeah, there is a maintainer in there. But uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to hook this onto it. I know you can't see anything. How rude of me. So there's the battery. So hook the negative there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Positive there. And then plug it in. Boom. There it is. So it's got some power already, so it's not dead. So then we'll run this cord up and out of here. We'll close the box. We'll put a loop in that so that the water doesn't run down in it. And then we'll set this out here in the middle, I guess. So yeah, the tractor cab's in the way. So let's see how far we can get over that way. We can go a little farther. Get her up here in full sun. There we go. Now the sun's on it. And we should be good. Now, Tammy went to move Clifford and it won't start, which I'm not sure what's going on with that. That battery's getting old. So I guess we'll get the battery charger that I bought out and put it on there. And see how that works. All right, see I got a bad terminal getting corroded. So we'll go. So we'll go get some tools and we'll clean that terminal up and get a battery charger on her. Get some extension cords ran out here. All right, I'll be back. All right, two for two. Both of them broke. I guess I get a hammer and a punch. All right, plan B, went and got a, a ratcheting wrench, which is a six point because it was tight. And of course, broke her off. So let's see if we can get that one loose first. Well, I gotta get this nut out of here. All right, after some tapping, this one, the ground one came out fairly easy, but this one, I had to get a little rambunctious with it. Started out lightly tapping. Then it got to be a little more. But we got it. So we'll have to find a couple bolts put in there. But I'm going to get them cleaned up first. Got my trusty dusty. I don't know how many of you guys are. I've seen one of these. That's. See the wires in there? Probably ought to get some baking soda and stuff. That looks not bad. Positive ones are a little, or the negative ones are a little smaller. So that takes a little more. I have a worn out one that I probably ought to go get because I can spin that one backwards. But these are all at an angle, so you can't, you're not supposed to be able to spin it backwards. The 
held 7.5 liter aka 460 big block then you take this cap off take this cap off and it's got a brush for the inside which Same deal, the positive leads bigger, so it doesn't really do much, but you just gotta go up and down and keep brushing. Get all that corrosion off of there. It's coming, but the negative one, it'll fit right in there and you twist it because it's the smaller terminal. That one looks pretty good. This one's gonna take some more work. All right, I'll be back. All right, found a couple bolts, some flat washers, and some nuts. So let's see if we can this back together that's going to be tight battery died in the GoPro too so I got her all put back together bolts worked I got the new charger out got it figured out it's charging 10 amp and then when it gets full it will automatically go down to a 2 amp so don't care for the I'd rather I'd rather have a gauge on there that tells me how full the battery is, but oh well. So we're going to get these tools put away while this thing charges for a while. And uh, we'll be back. Well, I didn't take you with me, but I took the tools back in the garage and the rhino's sitting in there. It's like, oh yeah, Tammy said that thing started kind of hard the last time. Oh, you guys got a spot. She said, that started hard the last time. So I said, all right. So I go over and hit the key. There we go. So I go over and hit the key. Or click, 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 click. So I start taking things apart. Everything looks clean. Connections are clean. That battery's been in there a while, so it's probably getting weak. But I walk back around and turn the key on to see what the voltage said, because I didn't notice the first time. And it was like 11.4. So I hit the key again, and it's it rolled slow, but it started. I let it run a few minutes, and uh, it started. I shut it off, and it started right back up. So I'll have to get a battery for that. So well, let's see if this thing's gonna if the magic will happen yet. gauge was up to like 14 volts so now yeah I turned the heat on in the garage and all the stove's smoking 
just barely it was like 42 degrees in there and I just turned it up just a little bit Thanksgiving dinners out there so start bringing it up slowly so I got 250 pounds of feed that I need to get out of this truck all right now 10 after 4 figure out the brakes on this thing what's going on with it to lock the doors on its own every once in a while. Alright. So. The reservoir is full of fluid. So that tells me that it's not a hole in a brake line. Move the seat back. Uh. Yeah. She goes right to the floor. stop so we'll get her pulled into the garage but she won a prize package at the, the one of door prizes at the reverse raffle Saturday night so now there's a bunch of crap in front of that door or in that bay so I guess we'll go and move that We got swimming pool parts here, here. She wanted a nice package though. Some glassware, a rotating tree stand, 16 foot sky pod. That's like a $400 tree stand. A couple John Deere hats, some uh, deer tr attractant, some deer food, a whole bunch of hunting stuff. So yeah. She tickled pink about all that. So all right, now all I gotta do is find some place to put it. All right, I called Napa down to Fremont. They have a new master cylinder for Tammy's truck. So, and it's only 10 bucks more than a reman. And it comes with a reservoir, the reman doesn't. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. So I took some garbage out to the pigs, some leftovers, throwed that in there. Walked back past Clifford, turned the key, it fired right up. Go check, make sure my hubs are unlocked. Grandkids and such, you know. You guys enjoying it? They knocked their food over. That's all over there. Right down in there, all that white stuff, they knocked the food over. I have to get some troughs that they can't knock over or something. I did buy a heated water bowl for them. I gotta figure out how to mount that where they can't destroy it. I haven't fixed the door yet on this thing. So you can't close it when you're inside. So anyway. Slide across. And off to Fremont we go. All right. Quarter after five. Back home with the master cylinder for Tammy's truck. So we'll get the taking that apart and see what we can figure out. Well, here's a kick in the pants. 
She said there wasn't no fluid laying on the road. I didn't see anything laying under it outside, but I pumped the brakes a bunch. Then I went to Fremont and got a master cylinder, like you've seen, and I pulled it in here, and lo and behold, I seen that trail out there, but I thought it was the dog. But when I get back and I pick it up, there it is. So she's dripping off the bottom of the fuel tank and off the frame there. So that means it's this line right here that goes from, I'm sure it doubles over right there because that's the anti-lock brake system. So yeah, it's the top one on the right. Of course, that's gonna be the hardest one to get to. And it comes out, makes a U-turn. Comes out of there, makes a U-turn and heads to the back of the truck. So it's that line right there. Goes through all these clamps and hold downs and goes up way back in there. I don't know how well you guys can see. Let's see. So here's the rubber line coming off the axle, it goes up, and right there is where it turns into the steel line. So it goes in behind all that. Which means I'm probably going to have to drop the fuel tank. Ugh. <laughs> I wish it was the master cylinder now. This has got a fuel cooler, all kinds of stuff back in here. So I'll start spraying things down. I don't even know what's involved in getting this tank down. Filler neck. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, oh well, we'll get after it, get it done. All right, Bob showed up, Groic. I was showing him what was going on. He said, best way to do that is to take the, kit, the, the bed off of it. So, uh, all right, another dead battery, but I changed it out. It's uh, quarter till eight. Got the dogs in here. Rockets is tired. You tired, buddy? Yeah, he's tired. Max is getting quite deep. Lester left, so yeah, we're just gonna chill out. I'm gonna try and edit a video or two. So this has been. Interesting day. Sprayed everything down on the truck. I'll spray it again tomorrow morning. Spray some sea foam up in there. Deep creep. Maybe later tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening or whatever. I'll try and zip them bed bolts out of there and see what happens. So yeah, uh, until then. <laughs>